This is me trying to attempt and make a tutorial how to hook your Power Vision Power Ray underwater drone to the original app. The problem with the app they have now, the main updated version, it has a login screen that locks the interface. So to get around this, you are going to have to first bear with me here with my weird phone, get to your internet explorer. Okay, now that I got that set up right there, I am on Internet Explorer. You are going to search Vision Plus APK for Power Ray Underwater Drone. And once you do that, you're going to get all of this, of course, but you're going to see APK Pure pop up. Click that one. You know you're correct when you see the black eye with a red pupil. But this is the wrong version because, as you can tell, it says Vision Plus 2.0.0. That is the newest version. So you are. This is the Vision Plus app you're looking for with this logo. But it's the wrong version, so you want to scroll down until you see Get More from Power Vision Robotic Inc. and click the same icon, Vision Plus. Once you're in there, you're still going to see the wrong version, 1.73. So you're going to scroll up again. Now you're going to see older versions. All versions ignore pop-up ads now you're gonna be able to see down to 1.6.9 still the wrong so show more now you're gonna go down and these are the two you need version 1.4.1 does not have the power ray in it which is the underwater drone I'm speaking of but might work for other people with other drones but most of them have updated with newer drones added as they went along. So like I said, I recommended the 1.6.2. It is the oldest version of the app that would work for the Power Ray. And then I would also download the Vision Plus 1.6.6 while you're here because that is going to be what we update it to when we're done doing all of the tutorial. So once you got both of those downloaded to your phone, I would highly recommend putting both of those APKs onto a flash drive, writing PowerRay phone software or something of the sort on it and storing it with your PowerRay drone. So if you have to lose your phone, disconnect from your phone, or need a new main user interface later on, you have them on hand just in case they disappear from online. Unlikely, but could happen. So now that you got both of those, you are going to go ahead and install the 1.6.2. I don't need to download them again because I already got them. And then once you install it, you are going to open it up and you are going to get this screen. It's going to show the Power Vision Egg, the different drone I have no idea the name of, the Power Ray underwater drone we are speaking of. And as you can see, it says device is not connected, and it says start selling. And if you go over one more, you're going to go ahead and see the fish finder. Also, not connected, start selling, or start fishing. And that's all of the old interface that you get right there. But right here, you can always hit start selling. And now you have the interface you are looking for, which I thought was... Oh, I got lucky. I'm just going to connect it and it's going to work on this old app. But that's not the case. The minute you connect it on this old app, right here where it says main, if you have your drone connected, it will go ahead and say slave mode. And all the controls disappear. And your controller still won't work or function. So, let's get back out of that. 
I thought I'd be smooth by hit and start selling, then connecting my drone and having the interface, but like I said, it leaves you in slave mode. So when you connect your drone, that start selling button right there changes green and says activate. So I hit the activate button. And then you get on this old version, the 1.6.2 app, a white dialog bo box pops up right here with blue writing that tells you to go ahead and disconnect from your drone by scrolling up, disconnecting the drone Wi-Fi, connecting to a Wi-Fi signal that has internet or just using your phone internet with that off so your drone's not connected. And it will take you to the registration page when you click that you're connected back to your internet. Once it does that, fill it out like you are registering your drone for the first time, like you're a new user, because you technically are. Say, send code. It's not going to give you a code, so don't even bother checking your email or, you know, phone or anything like that. Once you go ahead and do the send code, type in any random number. doesn't matter the number. Just type in enough numbers that it allows you to go and click the bottom button like you're registering your account. Once you do that, it's going to say invalid. I would recommend typing in about three or four different numbers and doing that several different times, including 0000, 0, 0, 0 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, you know, anything. And once you're done doing that, go back up, connect your drone back up, reopen the app. You'll get this same face interface here. And it should have a white dialog box pop up once your drone's connected saying phone received code. And I believe it asks you to go ahead and connect back to the internet again. And all that's going to do is take you back to the same registration page, I believe. Ignore that. Hit OK like you are not connected to the drone, but stay connected to the drone. And when you do that, this start selling button, which when you're connected says activate, will glitch back to start selling. In a couple seconds, though, the dialog box that I talked about with the blue writing pops right back up telling you your phone received the code and that button glitches back to activate. So you just keep playing the little game interface as long as you have that white dialog box here that says phone received code and click, 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 click until you manage to hit start selling before that white dialog box pops back up. Then Bam, you are now in main user mode, stuck on that phone. You can delete the app, reinstall 1.6.2, 1.6.4, 1.6.6 from scratch, and you'll still have main user mode until you click up here on the top corner and make it a slave mode again or clear catches. But uninstalling the app and reinstalling the app doesn't do it only clearing the catches or changing from main user on my phone anyways. But hope that helps you guys. Hope you enjoy selling. Have fun. And I hope this helped. Sorry for the poor video quality, but that's all I can do on short notice. And once you're at that point, of course, and you're ready to sell, you just go ahead and exit out of the old 1.6.2 app. And you will go ahead and find your download page, which I'm pretty sure I just got to go to my browser. You will find your download history. You will find the Vision Plus 1.6.6 and install that one. I tried all the newer ones and anything past 1.6.6 is locked with a user login and we still don't have that ability. All we did is find a glitch. So I would recommend installing the update of 1.6.6 APK over the top of the 1.6.2 once you're done with uh, my instructions if it worked and you'll have the most updated version of the app possible at this time. So hope that helped.